I am beautiful no matter what they say Cause words can bring me down Yes guys, I'm beautiful and so are you Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Yes guys, it's your girl Michelle Wakalo Yanone Today, because of the topic I want to discuss I decided to come dressed as a daughter of the soil, you know so, in honor of Zamunda, Wakanda, and the whole African continent, you're welcome to my channel. Anyway, guys, I just want to dive into this subject today because I'm feeling so pumped. Yes, guys, today we're going to talk about beauty. What's your definition of beauty? The African definition of beauty, especially like the African men, or should I emphasize more on the Nigerian men, which I know a lot about so we're going to talk about that the way people see beauty the way people define beauty you know so guys sit down relax grab a cup of tea grab a cup of coffee whatever it is that tickles your fancy and let's chat by the way i was thinking maybe i should make up a song i see a lot of youtubers make up songs like intro songs welcome to Mitch's channel okay <laughs> no epic fail i guess anyway guys so when you talk of beauty, what is your definition of beauty? Yes, by the way, I don't know if you noticed that I came here without makeup, just lip gloss. Yes, because I'm also showing my true self. This is me. With me, what you see is what you get. And this is me, makeup free, just lip gloss with, lit with a little bit of tint. You don't even see it. Anyway, so guys, in Nigeria right now, let's talk of the Nigerian definition of beauty or the way our nigerian men define beauty and when i say nigerian men i don't mean all nigerian men obviously but realistically let's give or take 95 percent so right now in nigeria we are in the cosmetic surgery generation yes guys i'm sure you've seen it now that's what is raining yes right now every girl is saving up to get the booty done to get the boobs done you know gone are the days where they say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder or beauty is skin deep, you know, right now, no. Your beauty is defined by the size of your ikebe and the size of your bobby. Bobby is breast. <laughs> mm. Well, to be honest, I've always wanted to do my boobs. So like I said, I'm not here to put anybody down or call people out for doing what they want to do with their bodies. I mean, it's your body. You can do whatever you want with it. Rewind um, four weeks back before I discovered about my allergies and stuff. I was saying I would definitely have surgery one day, you know. I would definitely make my boobs bigger, you know, the big silicone bobby and blah, blah, blah. But now I just think it's best not to because I have a lot of allergies, you know. So I'd rather not put my body or health through that stress. For um, bomb, my bomb at least, my bomb is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the best part about adding weight. Now, when you add weight, everything else grows. No, it's just that in my own situation, the, <laughs> the while the bum is growing, the tummy is growing to one front, one back. You know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, in Nigeria right now, almost every girl that has money, like a lot of girls, a lot of slay queens, whatever you want to call them, just normal girls, even housewives and everything, they all. They're all into surgery now. Like um, we have um, right now, we have. I think it became more popular since we started having our own homegrown Nigerian plastic surgeons, which makes it easier. You know, back in the days, you have to go to Europe or Dubai or wherever to get your surgery done. But now, I mean, you can just do it there in Nigeria as long as you have. I want to be. I want to believe. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to believe if you have like from one million upwards. You can do your surgery and the surgery rate in Nigeria quite I would say It has been quite successful. Yeah, we've had one or two deaths unfortunately, which in every situation I mean even in Europe and things people um, Die or something due to complications Um, by the way guys, this is not me This is not me advising you to go and get surgery. Hell no. You see me like this. I've learned to accept myself This is who I am. I just cut my hair recently and I colored it and I added weight. If you know me very well, yes, I used to be a lot skinnier. And now this is where, this is, the, in fact, this is the reason why I've decided to talk about beauty. Because I've never really felt beautiful. Because the society puts this pressure on you or make you feel like there's always something wrong. It doesn't matter if you're skinny, fat, 
dark skinned <laughs> light skinned sometimes we'll get into the light skin part but when i was very skinny i used to weigh like under say between 55 between 55 and um, 50 and 55 and people used to make me feel like there was something wrong with me at some point i thought i was dying of some terminal illness or something like hey michelle why are you so skinny and you know it was wrong with you oh you need to get your body back blah 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 blah, blah you know but during the <laughs> basically covid happened right first of all uh, me and hobby moved to angola so i was always indoors you know at first i didn't know anyone in angola so i was basically indoors 247 just laying down watching tvs and uh, tvs watching tv you know but um then we moved to italy and after we moved to italy then covid happened meaning we've been on lockdown for practically a year yes i say this and people are surprised they've never really lifted it per se it always comes whatever lifting that they do comes with um restrictions you know so we've practically been indoors also so i have piled on <laughs> yes your girl piled on some weights like and when i talk some weight i'm talking like almost 20 kgs from what i used to be so yeah that made me feel so insecure like people sending me messages oh michelle are you pregnant you know especially like after getting married are you pregnant and hiding it or blah 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 every time there's something sometimes i'm even too scared to open my phone that's the thing people don't understand that calling you out for your weight or you know it's not right your insecurity is not right you already have them the fact that you're not really talking about them most time doesn't mean that you don't have these insecurities so people really pointing out on your insecurities it's really bad and they're too skinny is a problem it's not good enough if you're too fat it's not good enough i've been struggling to accept myself like that for who i am you know and all that and then for my natural hair i've never really liked my natural hair because i just feel that the natural hair doesn't suit me and when i see people with their natural hair i wonder like how why is it looking so good on them but it never looks good <laughs> it never looks good on me you know and then the same thing i cut my hair i try to do and when i say natural hair i'm talking of natural hair in general that's without weave on or whatever i wasn't talking about if your hair is um, relaxed or natural in that sense you know but then when we get to natural natural hair like this because i had relaxed hair and i cut my hair and then i bleached it i keep saying dye i didn't dye my hair I bleached my hair and for once in my life after cutting my hair so many times i'm actually happy I feel confident i think i don't know if it comes with age or anything or just realizing and accepting that this is who you are like accept me for who i am or don't to be honest you don't even have to accept me for who i am it's not your problem <laughs> like it's not that or should i say you are not that relevant and i'm saying you're not you but i'm talking of the person pointing out at whatever it is that they feel is wrong with you you know because if they are or if they feel they're relevant in your life or something they should be making you feel good about yourself not putting you down no so guys let me tell you in nigeria we have this culture not just in nigeria actually i think i noticed that almost everywhere in the world you know they see um light skin the lighter you are the more beautiful you are in theory you get so it's like sometimes we complain okay most times we complain about like racism you know and all that but the truth is that we stigmatize our own selves we are racist within ourselves if i can say that you know within our own selves you go out in nigeria or you meet people in nigeria or whatever say let's say you go out with guys with your friends and you meet guys and everything and they want to hit on somebody they start hitting on the dark on the light skin girl she is the beautiful girl you know to them she is the she's the ish and then to top it all, your light skin, then you've got the boobs and the back, the big behind. Trust me, <laughs> you are the full package. That's how beauty is seen there. And it's really sad because that's why most people end up doing things they shouldn't do. To try in their own sense. They're trying to get up to that beauty standard. You talk of skin bleaching. A lot of people bleach their skin to the extent that they... They practically damage their skin because they are trying to look light and then sometimes they overdo it and then their skin becomes transparent, you know, like fluorescent glass and fluorescent light. And talking of chemicals, guys, let me tell you something. I, I said I'm going to make a video about this. You see, back then when I was using normal products, I wasn't using, I wasn't trying to bleach, but I was into skincare, skincare freak. I used to battle, look at my skin, see? I used to battle acne, hyperpigmentation, blah, 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 pimples, blah, blah. But I'll tell you what, guys. I stopped using this like um, almost a month ago since I found out about my allergy. Back then, I used to do like 10, 10 step 
skin skincare morning you know every time i'm doing my rub rub you know some are even organic some are like you know how um normal normal products to be honest you know normal skincare products but i used to love doing it but then every time i find out that i'm battling one thing or another on my face but realistically since i stopped doing that and just using that one face cream that was recommended to me because of my allergies 25 of percent of the time i used the lotion the lotion that was prescribed to me by my dermatologist which has no fragrance no parabens because obviously i'm um, allergic to parabens no which is preservatives and to be honest it's very hard to find things without preservative even your regular makeup products and stuff hence why they stop me from using those regular products but the truth about it is guys my skin has never been so good i kid you not before i wash my face two times three times blah, blah. now i can't be bothered do you know what sometimes i even wash my face in the shower with the same soap that i use for my body that was recommended for me it's nothing it's just normal soap with no you know without all those things and oils just plain but look at me i am loving my skin I'm loving the way I look and I think that's also adding to my confidence hence why I can sit down here with my short natural hair and no makeup and talk to you guys and still be feeling like the ish yes guys so I believe beauty is what you is the way you feel if you feel if you don't feel beautiful inside there's nothing anybody will say to convince you that you're beautiful there is nothing um you need to take out that um mentality of I thought, don't get me wrong, I'm bringing this all out because I also felt this way some time ago. I felt maybe I need to. There was even a time I experimented with with trying to do rub rub to bleach my skin a little, you know, not necessarily bleach it. We call it um, toning, you know. I tried to go like two shades lighter. It was nice, kind of, but it was kind of strange also to people that knew me like, huh? when they see me, the shock, you know and yeah so i tried that you know but guys you're just damaging your skin like everything i know now i wish i knew before about the products we use on our skin i repeat i have always used normal products i only experimented with lightning products just one time just within like three months stretch and that was a long time ago you know but even those normal products you would not know the chemicals the chemical spoils spoils our skin all the things in it even regular makeup guys i was surprised you know normally we buy things we just use we don't check we don't check the ingredients i started checking the ingredients and researching and googling since i discovered this allergy the things i react to and guys i need you to know that some things that you react to some things that come up come out of your face where you think ah no is this particular cream i use or is this particular powder I used or whatever guys sometimes it's allergy your skin is actually reacting to something in the product you're using it's probably reacting to maybe a chemical a fragrance a preservative just something you know because what we do is ah if we find out that we're re reacting to one particular thing we change we run and do and you know use something else to see if it helps or sometimes we feel oh just covering it all up covering it all up or just doing makeup yeah covering your whatever your spots and everything with the makeup is fine but no guys let your skin breathe let your skin breathe sometimes so back to the african definition of beauty or what african men see as beauty and this is not me generalizing it like i said earlier but guys remember I'm African, I'm Nigerian, I have African friends, I have African family, and I've spoken to men, <laughs> you know, to ask them, okay, what is beauty to you? And in 90, okay, let's just say nine out of 10 cases for them is what they see here first, you know, the skin tone, the the boobs, the, the shape of the woman. And guess what, guys, this doesn't happen in Africa alone. This happened, I heard it happens in places like India as well. In as much as most of them are they have the lighter tone but then it's the same the people with the darker tone are not seen as beautiful it's the ones with the lighter tone and same with um like um, asia like the philippines and all these places it's the same those ones even have light skin but they still bleach the same in india also they still bleach their skin why because they want that they want to get to that so the society standard of what a beautiful woman should look like guys rock your skin tone be it white be it brown be it olive black whatever you're beautiful the way you are i need you guys to always remember when people call you ugly 
you are not ugly first of all you remind them you did not create yourself no guys you did not create yourself and secondly some people might be extremely beautiful on the outside but then deep down hey so ugly inside trust me i know one or two people like that you know but unfortunately um, as humans we tend to be attracted by what we see first which is true i speak for everyone i speak for myself as well when you meet somebody or someone of the opposite gender for example no say i meet a guy now the first thing i know before i'm married now but whatever married or not it's general we still see people think even in movies ah this guy is cute this girl is cute the first thing you see is the outer beauty no and but realistically we should be looking at what's in there as well so guys don't let the society pressure you into going to get surgery because sometimes people do this and they end up regretting as well you know sometimes it's not all about as human beings we're never satisfied and the standard standard changes trust me guys right now we're in the surgery silicone boobs um um bomb bomb generation in the next few years it might change maybe finally a black beautiful dark-skinned woman will be the, ne the next trend and let me tell you guys something do you know sometimes when i look at insta people's photos on instagram i actually wish i could tone not tone I could dye my skin or how bleach my skin black because there are some black women I see on Instagram. I'm like, oh my God, why can't I just be dark like this? Why can't I be dark? They're so beautiful. So trust me, a day is coming where the men will start seeing very dark skinned women as the new definition of beauty. Why? Because then almost every woman would have done boob job, leave um, um, what job, bomb bomb job. And then it becomes a commodity. And when something is a commodity, people lose interest. Nobody wants a commodity, right? So, guys, just be you. Be yourself and own it. If you're fair-skinned, if you're um, light-skinned, own it. Own it. God created you that way. God created you in his image. Own it. If you're dark-skinned, own it. Like I always say, eh? just be yourself and the world will adapt. You don't have to try too hard. No, you don't. Talking of that, can I just chip this in? Um, just in case now let's briefly I'm going to bring this topic up because I have a uh, mixed race kids you see in Nigeria I don't know of other African countries but in Nigeria for example mixed race kids are hot cakes leave kids you see mixed race girls in Nigeria yeah, 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 yeah. Nigeria men know to use eye to see mixed race girls they would do anything within their power to get that girl not necessarily even to have sex with her, just to be seen with her. They will do anything in their power. I'll tell you what, guys. Let me give you guys an example. There's this uh, ex-friend ex of mine from years ago. You know, we had kids almost the same time. Her daughter is like um, one or, no, I think two or three years older than my first son. My first son is 17. And yes, he's mixed race as well. And I'll tell you what, after seeing everything that that's happening in Nigeria with mixed race girls, trust me, I'm even glad that I have boys. And they are not in Nigeria. It doesn't matter. Even if they are in Nigeria, I won't worry. I won't, I won't care. You know, sometimes it doesn't necessarily mean that the girls are doing whatever. But you see the things that these men are willing to do to lure these young girls. So I was saying, so this my friend's daughter that I carried as a baby and everything. Uh, recently, when this girl was 16, she started going, which 16? I don't even think she was up to 16. Going to clubs, you see her hanging out. Sometimes you see her hanging out with like old men. Sometimes you see her hanging out with like young boys, but all... You know, people with money and, you know, she fix her nails. You see her out maybe in the club drinking, smoking, whatever. We're all young ones. We're all teenagers once. So, yeah, we all did that as well. But when I say we all did that, we all experimented with things is what I mean. But seeing that girl doing what she was doing and not just doing what she was, but she was, yes, they lured them into this lifestyle and they kind of get used to it, you know. So she started enjoying it. And I was so irritated seeing that. Why? Because... This girl is practically like my daughter. I carried her as a baby. And it's sad. It's like seeing your own child out there with some nasty, nasty old men. And when I say old, I don't mean just the old. I mean even people in their 30s or late 20s, you know, um, taking her around town, using her as an iron candy. This girl is a young girl. I, by the way, I must say I understand that most of these men don't know. The girl's age because obviously we, we all lied about our age once i did as well you know my own is still keeping me right now in my throat 
<laughs> yeah so but it's just so disgusting i think me i'm speaking from the motherly part no because this is a child that i carried as a baby but in a way then i'm at some point i was like well her mom doesn't mind anyway so who am i to complain it's just so sad to see that you know so um I, yeah i see it happen a lot i see it happen a lot in africa you know and then at the end of the day these girls start feeling superior also to black girls or darker skinned girls you know and it's, it's it's really sad i'm glad my boys are boys especially my first son that is 17 already because trust me if that boy was a girl only god knows what would happen i've seen by the way some of these mixed race kids they actually leave europe to come to nigeria because the men lure them down they book them first class tickets they book them very expensive posh hotels they spend a lot of money on them so and then you know in europe in europe realistically i was do you know i was discussing this with someone actually recently because um we are talking about the whole megan and harry saga you know and the person was like yeah hey, but i don't understand what she's saying she's white she's not even black and after all her mom is even mixed race i was like shut up there as long as you have blood uh, as long as you have black blood in you even if it's 0 0.0 0 0.0 0 0.0 0 0.1 percent in europe and in america and wherever apart from africa you're considered black in africa if you have even small ounce of white blood you are considered white <laughs> yes that's the difference guys but in Europe and America, you're considered black. I told this to my son. When we were in Africa, my son was insisting at some point, because his dad is Scottish, he was insisting, ah, he wants to come to Europe and leave. He doesn't want to come to Africa again. He doesn't want anything to do with Africa. Him, his wife, blah, blah. I told him, I said, I need you to understand that. When you go to Europe, you see all this thing you're doing. You don't want to make black friends, blah, blah, blah. When he was going through the whole teenage madness, hormones, you know, his hormones was raging. I told him, I said, when you go to Europe, you go to UK, you will not be seen as a white person you'll be seen as a black person and lo and behold my son went to school boarding school 85 percent of his friends if not 90 or 95 are all blacks and now he sees the difference and now he appreciates also the dark part of him because i told him if you like carry brunch um, brush iron sponge and scrub your skin do whatever you want to do that black part of you is still there and it will always be there but now i must say he appreciates the black part of him, the whole teenage madness thing is coming down now a bit. So I thank God for that. So yes, guys, um, like I said, rock your skin tone, rock your hair. Yeah, you don't have to wear bone straight to look beautiful too. Because that's the latest one in Nigeria now because of um, uh, um, comedians and uh, musicians and blah have been hyping bone straight. Guys, you don't have to wear bone straight. Whatever you have, rock it and own it. Beauty is how you feel inside confidence i think all of us should work on our confidence that's the most important thing because we all have our um insecurities trust me i believe there's no human on earth that doesn't have any insecurity even miss world the most beautiful the most beautiful person the richest person blah 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 everybody has insecurity we just have to learn to deal with our insecurities and last last you will be all right so please guys don't let anybody bully you into doing what you don't want to do or into doing what you never thought of doing or into feeling or into making you feel um inferior don't guys live your life for yourself don't live for anybody else because we came into this world alone and we shall live alone if you spend your whole life worrying which is what i did a lot and i wish i didn't do that before worrying about how you look or how people perceive you trust me guys your life is going to be wasted you only start living when you accept you for you and take each day as it comes rock your life yeah okay guys i just want you to know i'm going to start a new segment on my youtube channel called ask michi yes guys people say i give good advice so i mean <laughs> if i may say so myself yes and yeah a lot of people um a lot of my friends um always call me to ask me questions this has been happening for years you know and also i would say because i have a lot of experience in different things be it marriage relationships motherhood and a lot of things so i believe up to a certain extent i can advise you guys a bit so if you have any question you want to ask me follow me on um, instagram at michelle yanone and send me a dm or follow me on facebook at michelle yanone also michelle yanone on facebook and ask me whatever question you want guys feel free 
be it marriage, relationships, children, life, Feel free to ask me whatever and I will be very happy to answer your questions. So guys, yes, I'm going to end this video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this topic. If there's any other topic you want me to cover or talk about, feel free to write it in the comment section. Yes, and um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell so you don't miss any video, any new video. And like I said in my last video, I'm going to do 1,000 subscribers giveaway i'm going to be giving out cash yes anywhere you are in the world i will send that cash to you if you win and i'm going to give out cash to i'm thinking maybe three between three to five people you know there's western union there's money wise there's everything so it's not a problem all you have to do is share my video with your friends subscribe to all my social media uh, platforms and yeah remember to always comment and like Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it like I always do. Once again, it's your girl, Michelle Wakalo Yanone, signing out. Peace, love you all.